Hi there friends and subscribers, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Daniel Rosal here. I wanted to do one more video today regarding Homebox Open Source Inventory Manager. Such a great piece of software if you have a lot of stuff to track in your home or you're running like me, a home-based business and you need to know where your inventory is. Um, so it's a great system, but there was one problem I thought about and that is, hey, let's say I get this installed on my local environment like I have on my Synology NAS uh what happens if just for argument's sake i wanted to scan one of these uh qr codes or other barcodes but i wasn't in the local network uh what would happen so this is something i wouldn't say it's a flaw of the system but it's something that merits a bit of thought uh when homebox creates these automatic qr codes which are kind of the basis for the system they're scannable um it does so for assets and locations and labels even but they're absolute pass path excuse my language so if you're if you don't have your home box on the public facing internet which i think a lot of people are not comfortable with that idea uh, if you do your problem is solved because you can scan them from anywhere and you'll you know connect to the internet and you'll get to the asset page but if you have it on the local environment if for whatever reason you wanted to scan a barcode uh you brought a piece of inventory out to a client site and you wanted to access it but you're not on the local network anymore then even if you have Tailscale set up, um, which uh, works very nicely, but Tailscale will give you a different public IP. So those um, those barcodes won't scan. So what can you do about it? So I was trying to figure out a solution this week and I did uh, come across one. So just to kind of just really drive home what I'm talking about, this is a, a random asset on my home box. These are the QR codes that pops out, that the system generates and... Uh, as you can see, if you decode this QR code, it's a local IP address. Um, and this is my actual uh, tech cabinet and all these uh, little uh, data matrix codes I've put on my boxes, which are locations in my home box. These are uh, LAN IPs, uh, basically. So for remote access, there's a few ways to do this. Uh, some people like Cloudflare, Cloudflare tunnels. I'm sure there's probably a way to do this on Cloudflare. Uh, some people like uh, reverse proxy in Synology, but I find Tailscale really easy to set up uh, for remote access. You just need to authenticate the NAS itself as a machine, then authenticate your connecting clients. And once you've done this, uh, what I like about Tailscale is you can just shut down everything else. Uh, that might pose a security risk. You can shut down your Synology Quick Connect um, and this can be your only way of accessing the system. But it's still just doing this um, by itself doesn't actually solve the problem. We need to take one more step. So the, th what you need to do basically um, to get the subnet routing feature available from Tailscale is instead of installing the DSM package, you need to install the uh, the actual Synology package. Go on to Tailscale type into Google Tailscale Synology package and you can navigate through this uh, through their package packages available go into Synology find one for your DSM version and download this and then you can upload it so it's a manual installation and once you've done all that um, you'll be able to set a set the uh, NAS itself hosting the um, container which hosts uh, homebox as a uh, you'll be able to expose a subnet route so you click into the subnet route options here then you need to authenticate that with with tail scale like you need to approve it um, but basically you just want to add the local IP, add a subnet route that includes the uh, local ip of the nas itself and if you want to expose other local ip addresses like a network printer you can go ahead and do that so just to give an example, if your NES is a 10.0.0.1, you can use an IP range like 10.0.0.0 through to 10.0.0.24, notated like this with the slash, and uh, that's it, basically. And once this is uh, done, um, once you are authenticated in your Tailscale network, you can scan the barcodes from anywhere, and uh, you can put in your, or you can put in the IP of your Tailscale instance, the where the on the NAS, and it'll behave just as if you were on the LAN, and therefore your barcodes can be scanned from anywhere. And that is it. Hope this is helpful. If you're running Homebox on a Synology and you want to be able to scan the barcodes remotely, there is a way. There's probably 
lots of other ways, but this is one way that I can confirm works and good luck.